The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hello everyone. Right this minute we see a couple showers here and there, but that's mostly just sprinkles. A little bit of snow coming into our West Virginia counties. That's about it for today. Now there are a decent amount of clouds. It's been a mix of sun and clouds earlier in the day, but at this point clouds are kind of taking over and that's similar to the situation that we saw yesterday. Now we're still going to be breezy through the afternoon, but I wanted to highlight in particular how we're going to stay breezy through the night. Even when they're at their calmest, wind gusts are still getting up to 20 miles per hour. And then even before the sun rises, they get back to around 25 with temperatures cooling down as much as they are. We're really going to notice it when it comes to wind chill. Most of us have some of our wind chills getting down into the 20s by midnight. That's most prominent in the NRV and Highlands. Meanwhile, the rest of us are feeling like the 30s before we're actually in the 30s. And then we get even colder feeling by early on Saturday by the time we're waking up. A lot of spots to the southeast feeling like the 20s, but some spots from Hillsville towards Floyd and even up into Hot Springs feeling more like the teens because of the combination of wind and cold air. As we get towards noon, it's a little bit better, but not well improved. It's pretty similar to today in that regard, where we still have a decent amount of wind chill later on than we might expect. Most of us have pretty high winds for today, but Saturday is not really going to be much calmer. On Sunday, as our pattern changes, our winds really do start to ease off. So a lot of us don't have much to deal with in terms of gusts, let alone sustained winds. Our temperatures are able to rise okay for today. A lot of us in the low to mid 50s, kind of similar to what we had yesterday. Saturday has a little bit of extra heat coming. Even Lynchburg and Southside get up to the 60s. But on Sunday, more and more of us get to the 60s. That's when that pattern really changes. Our air starts to come up from the south, bringing plenty of warmth and moisture in as we start next week. Now that's going to start to cause some showers as we get towards Monday morning. Then that low pressure that's off towards the west consistently brings in some chances of rainfall as we get into Thursday evening. None of these really showing up as stormy for us. I do think there's going to be storms down towards our southwest, but here it's just not too impressive. We do keep a chance of rain each of those days, but even looking at the totals are going to be a lot higher further off towards our west. Louisiana, Arkansas, parts of Texas. Meanwhile, for us all the way through Thursday, a lot of us are just seeing pretty standard amounts of rain might get up towards half an inch, maybe an inch on our very western edge, but it's not going to be too impressive when it's stretched over that amount of time. The good news is it's pretty early in April and we've already had an inch of rain, so that'll put us closer to the average. We ended up slightly below for last month, but not as much as February was, so pretty close to the average. We're not really looking at any abnormally dry conditions quite yet. Most of us today are going to see temperatures in the 40s and 50s. Blacksburg at 46, Rocky Mountain at 50, and Bedford at 53. And then tonight we fall back down into the 30s. Roanoke is at 36, Danville at 36, and Pulaski at 32. But remember, with that wind, it's going to feel noticeably colder. A lot of us have wind chills down into the teens and 20s. Our temperatures are able to warm up pretty nicely as we get towards Saturday and Sunday. That puts us back up into the 60s. And we'll stay in the 60s and 70s as we get into the middle parts of next week. So, we at least have plenty of warmth coming before yes. the showers arrive. Yes, I'm very excited because it's race weekend. Yeah. And the weather looks, I see a bunch of suns on that for that, that seven day right Yeah, now. especially <laughs> for Sunday. That's the important one. Now, I do think for Monday we'll have enough clouds that uh, the eclipse is not oh, going to be yeah. like perfectly visible. But, uh -huh. I mean, we're technically not even in the path of totality. And yeah. a lot of spots like Dallas, Indianapolis, they won't hardly be able to see anything. So hopefully we oh. can get a bit more sun than them. All right, Marshall, thank you so much.